Welcome to the Woodlands Home Cinema. This amazing Dolby Atmos 9.1.6 home cinema room is gonna blow you away. Let's go and have a look around and we'll show you how we did it. This cinema room's 9.1.6 configuration is accomplished using a fantastic array of the acoustic speakers. This room measures five meters wide by six and a half meters deep, and that's before we then brought the room in using the acoustic treatment and the baffle wall at the front. We've got the baffle wall because what we wanted to do was hide those front speakers and the front subs behind the acutely transparent motorized masking projection screen. The seating in this room is a really clever way of doing a home cinema because you've got a brilliant selection depending on what you're using the room for at the time. So it's a nice place to just slob out and enjoy the big screen. This whole cinema took around about a month to complete. It's part of a whole home automation system that we've done in this house. So to begin with, from this empty box, we have to put in our timber frame. On this one, we've actually done ramps at the side. Because we've got the width in the room to play with, it gave a really nice smooth flow up onto the rear staging. The front wall, we brought the whole wall out about 300 mil, infilled it heavily with rock wall. So the front wall is very, very absorptive. On the side walls, we've then put our absorptive panels on it and we've installed them where the reflection points will be so it properly handles the sound. We haven't just blanketed it and killed the room. We've then got a central section that's behind the acutely transparent screen where we've put our speakers. We've then put the LED track on here. Now, why have we lent it back in this manner? One, you don't see it very often, so it looks really cool. But the reason it looks cool is this room's quite wide and not very deep for the size of it. So by leaning it back, it gives you an extra sense of depth. Think of it like stripes that you'd wear on your clothing. Once the LED tape was on the wall, we then used the Cinema Build Systems tracking and fabric system to cover it all in acutely transparent fabric. So the doors are covered in exactly the same fabric as the rest of the room. And at the rear, in the coffer where the projector is, we need access to things like the air conditioning, the mechanical heating ventilation system. So all the panels in that are made individually and then they will be lifted in or out as they're needed. Now, as you can imagine, the screen is all hardwired in, so we can't really move it out very far, but we've dropped it down so we can show you what's behind it. These are the Arcoustic A6 speakers, and they're set up in a standard left, centre, right configuration. But there's two of them per channel, and that's because the top one is pointing to the back row of the cinema, and the bottom one is pointing to the front row of the cinema. In the middle, the two great big things there, they're the sub threes. We've got four subwoofers in this room, which sounds like a lot, and it is, but it just means that you get fantastic bass. For the Atmos channels in this room, we've got six of the Arcoustic 4-2 speakers. Surrounding us, we've then got six of the Diabolos from Arcoustic. So we've got wide, surround, and surround rears. With the Atmos channels, just like all the other side channels and surround channels, there are specific places they have to be. And because of the way that we've laid out the acoustic damping on the ceiling, it handles the first reflection points, but still does give us some really good dispersion for those surround effects. The projection in this room is the Sony 570 projector. We use this one because it's got lens memory, so we can do the anamorphic wide screens. And it's housed up in this fantastic coffer. This had to be here to house the air conditioning and the mechanical ventilation system that's in this room. But we wanted it to look good. So we've got the hatches that we've cut in, fabric them all, and so if we need to get to them, they just drop out, right down to the grills that are used for the air conditioning. They don't make them like this. This is thanks to Tat Custom Paint Shop. We spray all of these in-house, and it just gives a nice little finishing touch so they disappear into it. On the screen behind us, we've got the Kaleidoscape Movie Server. We've talked about this in other films that we've done, but the reason we like it is for several things. One, it's completely lossless. So the audio and the video is downloaded from the studios onto the hard drives itself and a playback completely losslessly. So if you watch something on Netflix, or Apple TV or anything like this, it's got to be compressed because it streams down to you. We don't have this. It's pre-downloaded and you'll get the full impact and the difference is night and day. But it can also do some really clever things with the more advanced studios. It knows what aspect ratio film is being presented. So if it's a normal 16 by nine film, that's fine. But if it goes into an anamorphic film, it can send a signal out which the control system can then react to. So we can then adjust the projectors, we can adjust the screens itself. 
so it all then fits properly with very, very little user input. Very nice bit of equipment. If you want to control that aspect or control the whole room, you are going to need a control system. Here, we have control four. So let's go have a look at the rack and see what we're doing. The racks for this cinema are in the adjacent room, which is this awesome games room. If you want to see a tour of this whole property, make sure you like and subscribe and drop a comment below. As you can see, the racks behind me, we've got three racks. The two large ones on the outside are powering the rest of the house. So that is all the Wi-Fi, the network, security, video, audio distribution, everything right down to the garage doors and the gates are from here. And then we have the central rack, which is running the cinema. So in this rack, we've got our sources, Apple TV, and most importantly, Collide Escape, right in there front and center as the main source. That's all feeding into the new Storm audio processor Mark II. Beautiful bit of kit, only been out around about 12 months now, and it's a real step forward from the original Mark I. Sounds awesome. The best thing is, is how easy it is to calibrate and how accurate it gets the audio reproduction when you are playing a film. That's then being powered into a Storm Audio amplifier and also two sub amps in there from Arcoustic to power the front and rear subwoofers. To control it all, this room is controlled by Control 4. It's got its own controller in there, so it's using an EA1, which is enough for that room. And then we've got a Neo remote control in there. Go with Control 4 because the rest of the house already had it and it makes sense to keep everything together. The big interface that you'll always have in a cinema is the seats that you're sat on. These are the Rasiki range of seats and they're lovely. They're in this gorgeous sort of elephant gray suede. And at the front, we've got a daybed. So it's three massive seats that you can just sprawl back on, relax. The customer has put some blankets in here, which just add a splash of color, complements the lighting really nicely. At the back, we've got Rasiki's range of manual cinema chairs. They are reclining, there's five of them back there. They've all got cup holders and they're a great place if you want to sit and really engage with the film. Let us know in the comments down below, what sort of seating would you like to have? Is it the relaxed style? Is it formal? Or is it a mix that they've got here? There's a whole range of them out there. Like I said, we like these Rasiki ones. They're really, really good, and they're all handmade over in Europe. This is a great space, and we really enjoyed building this home cinema room. Like and subscribe if you want to see any future ones, and any questions, drop it into the comments below. We do try and get back to them all, but we get loads of questions in through lots of channels, including our Instagram and Facebook accounts. Stay safe, we'll see you soon. Goodbye.